Hi. Hi. So this is a special video for yes. our Tombstone Tourism Tour. Because mm -hmm. we are in the city cemetery. We've done this before. Granted, I haven't done all the stories. but um, <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> no. So I am Kristen McKay. I am the collections manager at the Marion Museum of History. This is my partner in cemetery touring, um, Amy Reed, our curator of exhibits and educational programming. And we are in my favorite spot in the entire city of Marietta, which is the city cemetery. It is a gorgeous spot. It's a gorgeous spot. And uh, my recent endeavor has been to clean tombstones. And we're going to show you. That is your community service. It like. is. Because um, she's been doing it on her off time, on Sundays, coming out here whenever she can. It's so. a great way to clear one's head and to kind of refocus mm -hmm. for the week. Um, so when the weather is permitting, I will do it. Mm. So weather permitting today, being one of those weather permitting days, we are here and I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, this so this is more of like me showing Amy a too. Because yes. Amy has never done this before. No, I haven't. Um, so show you kind of what products I've used and am using, what methods. Um, the methods are the exact, or the first thing is the same thing even in the museum with our artifacts because these are artifacts okay sure these tombstones are artifacts so first rule is do no harm i've been applying that rule to the museum for as long as i've been working there so the same goes for this so first do no harm all of the tools that i have um, except for one are very easily gotten um, you also cannot just go randomly clean a tombstone you have to ask permission unless mm -hmm. it is a family member so like i could go yeah. clean my grandparents right you could do the same right but you can't just go randomly decide hey that tombstone i'm gonna go clean it mm -mm. gotta ask permission in the cemetery and since and you can since we're well since your employees. email to people say i'm the historian for the city cemetery then yes yes um but we i only started doing this um in 2021 but I'd kind of been learning how to do it beforehand mm -hmm. so we are in a little shady spot let me kind of give you guys an idea oops I keep forgetting where the camera is there we go so the um, sexton's house is right here and we are just across from it I'm actually gonna walk them over real quick and show them the go first ahead. one I worked on yeah so um, the first one I worked on is actually right across from the sexton's house because you need a lot of stuff to be able to clean. Well, not a lot of stuff, but you got to be able to, you know, carry stuff. So this first one is right here. And I know I don't have the before picture, but the before picture, it, it was very dark. But this is my first one. This is Char in memory of Charlotte Coquine. Died in 1871. So you can see the willow there. I'll post a picture of the before. But um, the product we use keeps cleaning, and I could see the birds like it because they pooped on it. Those birds, those pesky birds. But you can see on the back it's a little bit darker, but, um, but yeah, that's the first one I did. So let's go back up the hill. It's not a hard thing to do to clean the tombstones. Again, it's just having the right tools and a little bit of patience. Um, people ask me which ones, how do I pick which ones I pick? Um, they talk to me. Just not gonna lie. People, the stone talks to me. Something, something, something talks to me. I don't know who, what. It just does. Uh, one of them I picked. I found out the person died on my birthday. Random. One of them was on my birthday. One, one of them was on Amy's birthday. Yeah. Just randomly. Yeah. So I let Amy pick today. She picked one in the shade. It spoke to me. It does. That's the thing. I they to take my meds today, so. They always speak to me, so don't worry. <laughs> well, you're not uh, on that, see? <laughs> so, here Let's we go. Just stop them from speaking. <laughs> yeah. So, here it is. Oh, do you mind moving that bottle okay. for me real quick? Problem. So, this Product. is it. Okay, so what do we think it says in memory of? I can't even tell. I, I can't, can't even. even I can't even begin to tell you. So, it's a very wow. um, basic up and down, um, a little bit of a, ch like a, kind of like a chapel point. I'm not, that probably terminology is not correct. Doesn't look like there's anything on the back. It's gonna be a surprise. If you it's gonna be a surprise. Surprise, um, surprise, surprise. So we don't. 
Um, yeah, we don't know. We'll find out who it is in a minute. Uh, a couple minutes. But um, Amy... <laughs> Amy picked one with lichen on it, which are the best ones, because you gotta scrape it off. It's super yes. exciting. Okay, so the tools, if you don't mind holding this, I'll grab hold my tools. Yes. Let's get over here in front of this. All right. Water. Yes, water. Not cat litter, but water. More water. More water. Oops, because I don't spill. Um, I use a Tinkerbell bucket. Oh, I you, like that. You can choose what you like. Yeah, good call. Tinkerbell's um, great. Yes. Uh -huh. so I've got now, did Beckett use a Tinkerbell bucket? No. Okay. No, my son has come out with me before and cleaned. So this is, we've got um, soft brushes, different styles, um, and then a scraper, chopsticks. We don't throw our chopsticks away. At the chopsticks. Meeting. All yeah, right. One. Yeah. And then um, I do have toothbrushes as well. Oh yeah. So lots of different styles. And then last. But wait, did you let's let's pause and talk about the bristles for a minute. It doesn't matter what kind of bristles. Okay. So these are all either acrylic or natural brush bristles. So no metal. Okay. You don't want any metal. And okay. If you could put it to your face and not get hurt, then you could put it to a stone. Okay, that's I'm not a good call. I'm gonna put metal on my face. It's just not fun. Okay. And then. Have I, you ever thought of bringing a Clarisonic? Like a scrubby. <laughs> that's what I would bring. I, Save I a little just, wrist action, just push the button and it starts push, spinning. Well, you wanna be careful though, because any sort of higher. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, spinning of something. Speed? Speed can be. Rotation? A rotation yes. could damage the stone. Okay. So what I'm not going to use is a power washer. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a plot here in the cemetery that the family paid to have it done with a power washer and it looks great. But a power washer every single time is going to take a layer off. Yeah. And we don't want to do that. Right. Because some of these are very, sh like the engravings are very shallow so we don't right. want to do that. Right. Um, you don't want to use any chemicals such as bleach, uh, Comet, Dawn soap, even though Dawn soap we know is really good for baby ducks and oil slicks, mm -hmm. not good for tombstones. Really? Good to know. Nothing with uh, a, well, a chemical like that, because they also, remember, they have a, a color to them as mm -hmm. well. So there are a couple of different products. The product that I'm using today is the most popular, um, and it's called, let me grab it, D2 Biologic. It is not cheap though, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm right. not gonna lie. It's not cheap. Um, so while I'm- Specifically for stone, is that what yeah, we're talking? specifically, and it, it's a product that won't kill the grass, won't kill any plants around it, and then will keep working over time. So, oh. as I mentioned that this is expensive. Yes. If you feel so inclined to give us stars so I can pay for more That's of right. this. That's right, we're always trying to raise money for our different projects like this. and preserving these cemeteries is one thing that we definitely are passionate about and yep. this is one way that Krista has been active in doing it so yeah and and about how much like how many tombstones do you think one bottle could get you uh oh it actually goes longer than you think so mm -hmm. depending on the size of the stones um I don't think I I have two bottles of these and I have a couple of jug a jug but the first bottle I think I went through about 15 stones okay so yeah a, a varying sizes yeah um, like the first one I showed you guys that would have been uh, there's a, one just up the hill that I did um, and then there's some bigger ones this one won't be super yeah it won't take that much okay but all right so you're like okay get to the actual cleaning yeah I'm dying to see who this is you're dying <laughs> pun intended right pun intended <laughs> We're just gonna spray it with water first. Let's see if this one's got any hidden treasures on it too. Okay. Cause we just gotta get the stone wet. The idea is to keep the stone wet the, as much as possible. And oh, I'm gonna have so much fun with this lichen. Not seeing anything else special. Alright. We're just gonna film the front side but I promise we will do the back mm -hmm. I do not uh, just do one side I do the entire stone 
All right, so my plastic scraper, my good old buddy, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Ooh, this is gonna be oh, Best part, everybody. If you are a cemetery lover like Amy and I, you are a taphophile. Taphophile. That's what we are. Lovers of cemeteries. And tombstones especially. Yes. Uh, let me scrape all this. See, better already. Yeah, I, absolutely. There's something right there. I don't know if we're going to get it though. Oh, we do. Oh, we are. Oh, we're going to get it. Amy's like... Let's. So just by scraping, we're already starting to see some action on the stone. So what we are not going to get, even after we do the spray with um, D2, is like perfection. That's just not going to happen. Yeah. It's something that the product will continue to work over time, um, just so we can get the stone to just, it, it took more than a day to get dirty. It's gonna take more than a day to get clean. All right, so before I even sprayed D2, I'm gonna use another one of my brushes. Let me do this one. Always keep your brush wet and whatever tools you're working with wet. I'm gonna make a mud pie mess. And I'm just gonna go like this just to get everything. Now you can start top to bottom or bottom to top. I've done both ways. You see anything? It starts here. Oh yeah, it does. But it's very, very shallow. I can feel it how shallow yeah. it is. Yeah. So we might not be able to get it today. I see born and died. And I'm not going super duper hard on this. Mm -hmm. I did make sure too that the stone is secure so it's not moving. Well, it looks like this one has been repaired at some point, doesn't um, it? Maybe? No? I don't know. I thought oh. that too, but... Oh, maybe it's just dirt. Maybe. Or maybe it's uh, something in the marble, but I don't think so. So these are probably going to be marble. You don't see granite till much later. Okay. Oh, something's coming something's out. Something's coming there. It's so shallow. see anything? I, no. I, I see July. Died July. Born August something. Ooh, 1859 is when they were born. Is that August 18th? Is that your husband's birthday? Yes, it is. That would be so freaky that would be if so I randomly picked this and it's his birthday. <laughs> Maybe that'll be his death oh day too. <laughs> no, the, oh my god. Um, the death date actually might be my birthday. No. -uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, it's either a nine or an eight. But if it's a nine, that's my birthday. I think it or is maybe, a nine. But there might not be a one in front of it, or a two in front of it, but I can't tell. But it looks like 18, it's definitely 1850s. That is, oh gosh guys, let's see. Something? Is that an ED? ED. No. See, this is the best part with some yes. of them, too. It's like trying to figure out. Well, because I do. All right, hold on. That looks. George! George! George? Is that a W? Sometimes you have to, like, move. Yeah, because that puts dirt kind of in the, in it for the recesses. Okay. 18. That looks like 53. Yeah. George? I can't read that still, but let's see. All right, let me get a little detail on this. This is the oddly satisfying It looks part. like a the death date is a 50-something, too. Like 56, maybe? Like I can't this tell is the a last child? one. Like, maybe it's a child, yeah. Well, I definitely think it's a child. It's 1850-something to 1850-something, well, yeah. but... 
And see, there's no other there's gravestones no other around it to try to, you know, like put a last name to it. Like as if this was a family plot or something. There's or really there is and there's no stone. Right. Like, there's a lot of land left. Yeah, yeah, there really is a lot of land. Okay. So I'm spraying the D2 and you might see a bit of a color change that does happen sometimes. Um, we call it the blush. So it's nothing to be like concerned about. It's it'll come off and oops sorry Amy. That's alright. I need a I need a good cleaning too. <laughs> so I'm gonna spray the brush with it as well. Let's see. It's gonna suds up, so you're gonna get kind of a little Almost like detergent-like action. I like the smell. It's very it's, clean it's smell. It's a very clean smell. You get used to it. Almost like a lime. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, but I'm going to keep the stone. Let me see if I can. So a memory of George. It's going to bother me, everybody, until we figure now, this out. Now, look at what she's done already. I'm going to walk around to the other side just yeah. so you can kind of see a comparison. Like, the front was almost as bad as this. Not quite as orange, but almost as bad. Yeah, that stuff, I mean, it's just different types of lichen. And then also, since we're under a tree, yeah. the tree's going to do more of that right. than, um, than just being out in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. It looks like an A. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. George. Hold on. Sorry, people. I'm not doing a good job. Of... That's weird. It's like four lines. Mm hmm And then... I think that's a... Edwards, maybe? Ed... I don't know. Oh, I'm pulling up our map. Okay. So the city, I've, I've told this to you guys, or if you've ever watched any of our other city videos. Um, I think that's definitely death day of 1854. I think it's 54. We'll find out in just a second. Look at that dirt just running right down. It's going to come right down. We want to keep the stone wet. As best we can. We don't want it to dry out. Get all the way down there. Let me see if I can find it. I know where we are in the cemetery. Uh, oh, you ready? Yeah. It's not George. Oh. It's Georgiana. 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 So it's Georgiana, I thought it looked like Anne. Georgiana okay. Edelman. George Anna Edelman. Edelman. That's an interesting last name. I, know, I, I know, haven't yeah. seen before. And what are you looking at again? I am looking at the city's website, and we have a map that has all that they could find plotted out. So all those little red it. dots. I don't know if I can see it. We'll send a link. It. Yeah. But all those little red dots on the map say, I want to see this person. Okay. So it's not scrolling up. Georgiana Edelman. Oh. Yes. That's a sweet one. And I think that's a baby. Uh, definitely a young child for sure. That's oh sweet, sweet baby, laying right there, right there. And you, I mean, that's the thing. Like people, people I always say, oh, little children. Yeah, but I don't think they, there's anything on the back I don't side. Think so. So but now we know who she is. Let's get this going. amazing every time you go over it more and more comes off more and more comes off it's just gonna keep working and that's the point like you don't want to try and you're, I know it's frustrating as all get out that there's black on it still but that is gonna keep coming off the product keeps working 
So when I come back in a week, mm -hmm. it'll look better. A month, it'll look better. The gotcha. one that I showed you guys first, I did that one, oh gosh, um, late, maybe two months ago. Okay. Like late February, and it's it, this is the end of April, but um, when you guys watch it, it might not be. But uh, so, yeah, it's just going to keep coming off. But even this is brighter than when we first did it. Like, yeah, definitely. You can feel it. Um, and again, you can go over it a little bit more, spray more. But again, perfection is not the goal. Readability is the goal. And we got, we're getting there. Oh, we're yeah. Not 100%, but. Um, and then some of them, the best part is, is that you can read the inscription again. Not just this mm -hmm. inscription, but, or if there's an inscription of, you know, sweet baby or right. one of them that I cleaned, it ended up having the maker's mark. Oh yeah, like that's right. Stone. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. You don't get that very often. I don't think this one has that because usually it's at the bottom. Yeah. I don't see one at the bottom, but you, I'm not pushing down hard. That's not the point. Because if I push down hard, I could potentially, I mean, I am strong enough. I mean, come on. You could knock it over, you sure. You could knock it over. Yeah. And then there could be a weak spot. So, yeah. But yeah, so all of these, like I said, we will clean the back. All of these stones need TLC. Yes, they do. So there's somebody here through the city um, that fixes them. That's my next goal to like learn how to do that but cleanings first um, and they have been fixing them there were some broken ones last I was here but they had fixed them at this point so um, but yeah like if you pan over right over here all those stones are gonna need a clean yes they are Wow and the more detail the longer it takes uh-huh but um, it's not something that you do every single year for the same stone. You know, you come, kind of do it right. in a rotation, and that's fine. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. So Amy's going to finish this stone. because I am? Know. Okay. Don't you want to scrape light? Yes, I do. I sure do. So, all right, guys. Okay. We'll, we'll be back next time with another one. Again, if you are so inclined, give us stars to help pay for some of these products. And then um, we'll see you. Well, you know. I'll probably show this in, I think it's May. This is our historic preservation. That's All right, that's doing. right, it that's is. Month, so. Well, we'll see them next week anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We will. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.